All right, so let's take a look at a problem that actually does this. So here's a four spectrophotometric method for quantitative analysis of lead in blood, and it yields a signal of the sample of 0.712 for a five milliliter sample of blood. And then after spiking the blood sample with five microliters of uh, 1560 part per billion lead standard, the signal of the spike is 1.546. So this is asking what is the concentration of lead in the original sample of blood? All right, so we didn't do a dilution here. Um, so this is going to be our second method or this method here that we're going to need to utilize to calculate the concentration of CA. Okay, so we just have that sample signal again over CA. And this is going to be the signal of the spikes sample. And then you've got our um, concentration of the blood sample. And then the blood sample plus the standard, 5.005, because you only added that tiny amount of the standard. Um, and then 1560 parts per billion, that's the concentration of the standard. And then this is, again, 5 microliters. Um, but we've converted it to milliliters so that it will match our volume units in this equation. And then that total is the same over here. So we can just solve then our um, equation here for CA and do the math. And we end up with uh, the concentration of the analyte as 1.33 parts per billion. Okay, so take the time to kind of look at this closely. It looks like a really big and busy equation, um, but it's really not too bad. You're just taking into account uh, the volume change that you have when you add that standard into your sample and either do a dilution or just do the standard addition um, into the spike sample.